Hey you guys, I am back with another word. I wanted to share this um, with you guys. Um, just something the Lord placed in my spirit as I was driving. Um, walk worthy of your calling, you guys. I'm so sorry if you hear that, that is Bo. <laughs> walk worthy of your calling, right? You have to walk worthy of what God has called you to do. And I know oftentimes we're probably asking ourselves, okay, what is my calling? What has God purpose for me to do? What has, what does my future and plans look like in the Lord, right? I want to go to, I don't know the scripture, but I'm going to link it below. And it's in Proverbs. It says, many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the purpose of God that prevails. So we can have all the plans in mind and set in stone. But if we don't take those plans and pray to, about the plans that we made <laughs> to the Lord for God to reveal his sovereignty, then are we really following God's plans and purpose for our lives or are we following our own? And so I want to share with you how important it is to walk worthy of your calling. I want to share how important it is that when we're so focused on the Lord and what God has called for us to do, our assignments, right? There's assignments within our calling. There is purpose within our calling there is people within our calling there is places in our calling that God takes us to and before stepping into your calling God has to prune you and prepare you and I was having this conversation earlier and I was sharing how in my walk how that looked like God had to God had to consecrate me I had to go through the wilderness and God had to consecrate me and get me alone, away from the noise, away from family, away from friends, away from church, away from all the the distractions. And I'm not saying like people are a distraction, but there's a lot of opinions, there's a lot of a lot of things going on around you. And when you come into a place of consecration, oftentimes God will pluck you out, right? I say uproot, and it's, He's like uprooting you, plucking you out of something. And you're in an incubation season. Think of a baby in an incubator where they're just being constantly fed and just revived in there to get to their nurtured best well-being self um, so that they can grow and be healthy. And so think of it as being in an incubation season. And many of you guys probably are in this season. And, and I feel like we're always going to go through a season with the Lord. And oftentimes that that one-on-one -on -one relationship with God keeps going and going until God brings you the people you need the connectors the divine connectors the helpers um and it keeps going and going and going and so god has to get you into a consecrated season so that you can know and distinguish the voice of god above everything else there's so many things pulling on our attention in our everyday lives that we can detour and look to the side and think oh maybe this is of god maybe this is it but in reality has God called you to that thing? Has God called you to that season of whatever it is that it looks like? Or, or God calls you, but he speaks to us at the same time. God is, is a God that he not only speaks, but he moves. And God confirms himself through his peace, through who he is, the, the, his word, right? Faith comes by hearing the word of God. If we hear the word of God, if we're studying the word of God, if we're meditating on the word of God, if we're praying without ceasing, if we are in, in constant fellowship and just seeking the Lord's face in all that we do, right? Proverbs 3, 5, 6 says, trust in, the Lord with, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on to your own understanding, but in all of your ways, submit to the Lord and he will make your path straight. So when we submit unto the Lord in all of our ways, not just in most of our ways, not just in some parts of our lives, but when we submit to the Lord and acknowledge him in all areas of our life, God shows up. And that's the exception in being set apart. And when you're set apart, you're called by God. He says, many are called, but few are chosen. If when you are chosen by the hand of God, God wants to prune you. God wants to use you. You will go through the fire. You will be refined. You can hear and see clearly, right? Your eyes are open. Your ears are open. God says, have eyes to see and ears to hear. And those that do understand what God is saying. Don't be like a foolish man that is completely blind. He says the blind lead the blind and they both fall. But instead, open your eyes to what God is saying. How do we do this? And you're probably thinking and asking yourself, how do I, how do I walk worthy of my calling, Jeanette? Walking worthy of your calling is to position your heart in Christ. Wait on the Lord. 
be obedient to the word of God, right? He says, don't be just hearers. Don't just listen to the word, but be a doer of the word. Actually obey what the word of God says, because God is a God that, like I said, he doesn't just speak, but he moves. And so we have, we have a heart posture to position ourselves in, in the Lord to obey God. And when you obey God, God moves in a way that you have not seen him before and it increases your faith. And so we each have a unique calling and it is the same goal. It is to win as many souls to heaven. It is to, to share the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. But our callings are unique. Like your calling may not look like your brothers and your sisters. Maybe God has called you to prophesy. Maybe God has called you to teach. Maybe God has called you to encourage. And whatever season that looks like, God's preparing you to continue to mold you and prune you to who he's called you and set you to be predestined to be. So remember, don't look to what people are doing over here. Don't look to the, the right or the left to what everyone else is doing, but be so focused on God and, and his assignments for you. Yes, it's going to look like you're being stretched. Yes, it may feel uncomfortable at times because you're being ridden of your old self. You got to put on that new wine skin so that you can work and move and flow and, and be in the presence of God and know what he's saying and know who he's speaking to and, and how he's speaking, you guys, because it is a relationship with the Lord. So I share this word with you guys. Um, I, I pray that you guys are blessed by this word. Walk worthy of your calling. Walk worthy of what God has called you to do, what God has for you, not your mom, not your dad. At the end of the day, you will stand before the Lord and he will ask you, he will ask you, he will hold you accountable. And even while you're walking this walk out in this relationship with God, we're going to be held accountable as well. So learn what the word says about not only the fruits of the Holy Spirit, but how can we position ourselves to be called? It is to hear the word of God. and He is the word, you guys. So I pray this blesses you guys. I pray it encourage y'all. Such a good word. And it is just saturated in the Holy Spirit. And I'm just... Oh, also, I want to say thank you to every single person that has been sowing into my life. And it's not financially, but this is words of encouragement, y'all. The last couple of days I needed it. And the amount of DMs, the amount of messages I've been getting, my goodness, praise the Lord. It's been so, it's been so amazing. And so, I'm just so grateful. So grateful for you guys. Um, this community is just so wonderful and it's so important. And I just... I pray that you guys are blessed by these words, and obviously it is the Holy Spirit. I give God all the glory. I am just a vessel as well as you guys, um, but I, I'm praying for you guys as well. So I love reading your messages, and also for those that have sent um, letters to my P.O. Box, thank you guys so much. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. I, I don't know what I would do without being really. It's been such a blessing in my life, and as well as so many others. So I will talk to you guys soon. God bless you.